Hell yeah. Yo, cuss by Reggie. Uh, if you like the videos, thumbs up. If you dislike them, thumbs down. Comment, share, subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you're just dropping by, I drop videos every Monday. Sometimes Thursdays, but definitely every Monday. So if you, you know, just don't want to subscribe and jump back in every now and then, that's when I'll be here every Monday around 12 or 1 o'clock Eastern time. Anyway, <laughs> today we have a different video. Not a different video, actually. It's just not about clippers. It's about tools, uh, different accessories for the um, barber world. All right. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been showing off this new uh, charging stand and I've been also showing a one plug charger, right? So we're going to, I'm going to quick review both of these and it's going to be kind of a comparison video, but not, necess not necessarily a comparison video because they both hold their own purposes to me, in my opinion. I've been using both of them, alternating between them, and this is just what I think of them, all right? So first we have the, the one plug multi-core, multi-clipper charger uh, from the company OnePlug. Shout out to Yusuf the Barber down in uh, Atlanta. I got this from him at the Tennessee Barber Expo. He had been selling them at different shows and he had them online, but me personally, I like Yusuf. I met him a couple of years ago at the Tennessee Barber Expo and we have kept contact back and forth, all right? So this is his one one plug multi-clipper charger, all right? This everything get charges on the back. All the walls, the Andes, the Babies, the Gammas, and some calibers and, you know, other clipper companies that may not be as big, but also uses this charger. So this is the brick. This is the brick it comes with, then it comes with the the plug you stick on this end, all right? I took a few pictures, I'll post some in here, but this is the charger, all right? And this is all the plugs it comes on it. It even has phone chargers. So you got the uh, Android, I mean Android, the Apple, Darter Android, and then older Android. This is a type, the Type-C connector. And then it has the, the plugs, different plugs, different clippers and um yeah so it charges you put this on your station um i have been using this and i love it but me personally i think it works better for a traveling barber but we'll get into that in just a second because then i also want to show you the charging box this is from a company called crazy good which i also purchased or no i ordered this a little while ago i met them for the first time down at the tennessee barber expo so okay this is great because of the fact that most of your clippers are going to fit on there now near 90 percent of your clippers are going to fit on this one plug multi-charger that's the best thing about this this while you can charge different ones on them at one time, the thing is, let me take these out. The thing is you have to pick which charging ports you want on there and you only get an option of six, right? And the reason why most stuff won't fit, you see this, this is just gonna fit the, the Andes, the cordless. Whether you got the GTX or the original, it's only gonna fit that. You can't take another clipper with that same charging port and stick it down in there because it doesn't, it won't fit the way that it's molded. Even with this, which is a Babeless uh, Low Pro, which is not technically the charger that fit this, but it is a Babeless charger. All right. So this is for my GTX, but since it does have this at the bottom, it can turn the opposite direction and fit. But most of those, most of these ports will not fit different clippers. I hope I'm making sense, right? So you got the, the uh, wall charging port. 
And because of this hanging down, it's only gonna be able to fit a wall charger, a wall clipper. So the uh, the seniors, the magic clips, you know, those are fit in there. All right. So let me compare the difference between these two products, right? Neither one of these is technically better than the other. In my opinion, they hold their they are they should be used in different phases right this right here is amazing i mean if you have it on your charger it's amazing because you can charge multiple clippers but when we're going into the cordless world we still have to focus on hooking them up which is not a problem i know somebody said that one time but you have to worry about taking them off and wait we're away you got to worry about taking them off and then putting them on there versus just having a charging stand and setting it on there, right? So that's why I say this works better in a traveling. If you're a travel barber, you do home cuts, you fly out to other cities, things of that nature. This would be a great addition for you to have on the go. Because now instead of you finding all the chargers for your different clippers, you take the clippers and trimmers and shavers that you're going to use, set it down in the in your in your suitcase, and then you just got one charger. That's that's the best thing. This is better for your station because while you're cutting her, these are instead of you having all these other docks or having to worry about finding a cord to hook up into, you turn around, you just set it down in there. That's why I think this is better for your station rather than you taking this whole box. And you can, because how you travel is up to you. You get what I'm saying? Uh, so that's why this is, but this is better for just having it on your station. Um, the problem with this box, again, like I was saying about hooking in uh, your different clippers, on the website, they give you a drop menu and you can only pick six different tools to fit on this box which is great because most people, you don't have 10 trimmers and clippers on your station. Most people, I might, but most people don't. You know what I'm saying? And tank, tank be chopping might, most people don't. You get what I'm saying? So when you're doing this, they give you a drop menu to let you pick different tools. The only thing is they don't have modules to put in here for all the different clippers that are out there yet i'm not saying they won't i'm just saying at the moment they do not but with this whatever whatever clipper you got is pretty much gonna fit on there and whatever phone you using you're gonna be able to charge it so what i'm saying is these are both great tools i love how this barber industry is uh adding different ways to let you be able to you know let's just say charge multiple things at once, but freeing up space. Like the Tune 45 mat. I used the Tune 45 mat for a few months. Not that I didn't like it. It's a great, it's a great thought process to create such a product. My problem was the extensions on it and setting it on. I just did, I didn't, it didn't fit with me. I understand the greatness of it. Don't get me wrong. This box right here, is the best thing for me at my station. When I do home cuts, that one multi-plug uh, charger is, is amazing. So the way the industry is going, which not to get into a rant about Wow or Andy's or Oster, because we always complain about these bigger companies, but it's, it's kind of like they laid the foundation and then these other companies are building upon that. So instead of us really, and I've done it too, but instead of us really crying about the why Wild not giving us longer runtime or why Andes is not giving us longer runtime or charging docks or this kind of blade, let's just let's just live in the excuse me, in this moment that we do have companies giving us eight hours of runtime on a clipper, uh giving us four hours of runtime on a clipper, giving us different options to modify our clippers 
giving us charging docks with the newer Clippers and trimmers. You know what I'm saying? Gamma style craft, gamma slash style craft, caliber and babeless. They just doing other things, especially especially Stylecraft and Babeless. Those two companies are taking this to a whole nother level with the addition of a Tomb 45, with the addition of a Crazy Good. The company that made this box is Crazy Good. And I'll put both of these Instagrams and links down in the description for the one plug multi-clipper charger and the uh, Crazy Good charging box. Both of these are great additions. I'm not I'm not really wanting to compare them. I'm just wanting to really say that, hey, they're out there and they're both great products. Both great products for either your station or traveling. I just think the one plug is better for traveling and the box is better for your station. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion because that's just my opinion. I don't know what else to say, but all in all, I do like the way that the, the barber industry is going. I'm loving that. I've been cutting hair for eight years. So, like, if I was a rapper only around for eight years, people would be like, but you don't understand what happened. And I don't. In the barber world, I don't really know everything that was happening. I just know now. And um, I'm liking the moment that I'm living in now with everything that's going on whether it's Babeless or Stylecraft or Caliber or even Wall or Andes, you know, whatever they have coming up next. We are almost to a new year. So who knows what will actually come from the smaller companies or the customers crying to the bigger companies. Who knows how everything will change? Uh, crazy good charge box. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is 250 And then if I'm not mistaken, this is... $99. So there's your two different points right there. 250 for the crazy good LLC charging box, which I love, or 99 for the one plug multi clipper charger, also, which I love. Are any of these worth it? 100%. They are both worth the money. It just up to you. If you do, if you do more traveling cuts, get this. If you do more if you stay in the barbershop often, get that. But if you want just one plug, uh, one charger for everything, neither one of them is a bad decision. All right. If you like the videos, there's a thumbs up button somewhere. If you dislike them, there's a thumbs down button somewhere. Comment, share, subscribe. Almost to 5,000 subscribers. So I'm trying to put together something. But I'm out for now. Peace.